Good afternoon. This is a special meeting of Commissioner's Court of Grimes County, Texas. It is Thursday, the 12th day of March 2020. The time is 2 p.m. We are in a different location. We're at Anderson Town Hall, 415 Hill Street, Anderson, Texas, 77830. The meeting has been called to order. Second item on the agenda, County uh, Grimes County Elections Administrator Lucy Ibarra consider and take action to certify and canvass the returns of the March 3, 2020 primary election for both Democratic and Republican parties. Yes. Mr. Barr, would you come to the podium and identify yourself, please? Thank you. Good afternoon. Lucy Ibarra, Elections Administrator. It's Ibarra. Ibarra. As a judge, would say. Okay, guys. Roll the R. Roll the R. Okay, just real quick, what you have is the official canvas, uh, the total number that have been entered on the state side. So canvas for the primary is a little different. What we normally do is we will enter on our side, so the county side enters our numbers, and then both party chairs enter theirs. Um, the Republican Party Chair, Susan Patrick, did confirm that they canvas this morning. They had three people present, and they have entered their numbers. James Harris will canvas this afternoon a little bit after 4. They have until 5 p.m. Do you expect any discrepancies on the no. Democratic canvas? No, sir. He's looked at the numbers. Uh, they were handed unofficial results on election night. They had no issues whatsoever. I spoke with both of them this morning. Of course, Susan, um, we, we didn't have any issues there. And I spoke with James a little bit after 9. He said he didn't have any issues. Um, I will be as soon as this meeting is over delivering uh, to him an official canvas copy so that we can use the official numbers. And he's not going with election night numbers because those do end. Total voters, we had a little over 5,000 once we were done with provisional voting and with um, ballot by mail. So, decent turnout. I know everybody hopes for a little bit more. Um, 5,187 of your total. But remember that your total voters can also include active and suspense. So, that's going to be kind of a breakout. So, I see if <laughs> Well, it has, if I'm reading this right, it has a total number of voters, 33,444. So that includes our districts as well. So it also includes our districts. Of course, our number is only 16,000, yeah. um, a little over 16,000. This includes any of our districts, um, all the, uh, the actual state reported numbers, things like that. What if, I'm sorry, what do you mean by districts? Um, so the way the state reported it to me, um, it includes any of our district that has active and suspense and canceled. So our canceled voters, although yes, that they are not counted because they can't vote if they're canceled, they can try to be a provisional or limited. What this number includes is everyone total wise. What we actually report voting wise would be active and suspended because the suspended voter can vote. Okay, I hear what you're saying. But I don't understand 33,444. Mm -hmm. If we had 16,000 voters, mm -hmm. where does the 33 number come from? So the way the state explained it to me is that what, kind of like what I just said, they just explained that it's all everyone. Can Anyone that was canceled prior to this, um, this voter roll, this election, and everyone that's actually active. That's the way they explained it when I questioned it. But I can get a, a definite answer from them in that right just in case. Uh, okay, I've just, I've just never, in my dealings with canvas numbers and everything, mm -hmm. I've not ever seen anything like that before. Yeah. So, and I do know that they change every election. Yes. And, excuse me one second, Vanessa, double Well, I was going to say, in my experience, sometimes when we do a primary, if our registered numbers is 16, yes. it will double that number. Yes. So that may be it's what essential, it is, that it's number. Essential it's essential. It's essential double. double. Yeah. So I'm thinking that's what but, it is. Vanessa, I just hadn't remembered seeing that before. Right. But, but I, I remember that does, does happen from time to time. And then because there, it's two separate elections, but it's all in one yes. database. So it's just actually counting the voters. And, and oh, then, uh, that makes sense. Yes. Oh, that makes and, sense. And so like Republican, Democrat. Yes, yeah, gotcha. because remember, it's two separate ones. But in the numbers will, you know, like I said, they're always going to be a little off because they include all everyone. Yeah. Yes, because you're, you're just technically, because we are, I'm kind of thinking it, uh, open, you're declaring a party when you come to the primary. Right. Yes. And we don't know in advance what yeah, the primary are going to We don't know. So we include So you have 16,000 in the Democrat, 16,000 in the Republican. Right. I get it now. Yes. Sorry, I, I didn't explain that. 
very early on. Okay. Um, of this, we didn't have any issues with uh, our provisional board met. We didn't have any issues with our ballot by mail process or with our provisional team meeting and going over over everything. We anticipated a higher number of provisional. We actually didn't we had 14 total of the, that. We only had one that actually counted. So we, we thought we would have a little bit higher just because of the bigger turnout, but no, we actually didn't. Ballot by mail numbers were a little over 500 that we actually counted. So we counted a total of 540 ballots. So we know about 1,000, a little bit of a, a over half counted. So that's, that's a pretty decent number. <coughs> Is that um, current numbers or is that numbers from 18? Current. current, I'm sorry, current numbers. 16722. No further questions. Is there a motion to take action to certify and canvas the returns of the March 3, 2020 primary election for both the Democrat and Republican parties? So moved. Second. There's a motion before the court on agenda item number two by Commissioner Mallett, seconded by Commissioner Dobianski. Is there any further discussion or questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. The canvas is complete. Thank you. <coughs> Item three on the agenda, County Judge Joe Fout discuss and take action to hire Grimes County Human Resources Director. Uh, we had a uh, session where, or we had executive session where we had three internal candidates that had submitted their applications uh, and information to be considered for that position. We interviewed those persons on Monday of this week. Uh, and that was done in closed session. We came back into open session that we felt like we one of the three would be uh, someone who would meet our needs and therefore we would not need to go to outside pool to make a decision. Based on our discussion, anybody have a motion? I move that we take action to hire Alita Cole as our human resource director. Is there a second? There's a motion before the court on agenda item number three by Commissioner Dobianski, seconded by Commissioner Barbara <coughs> Walker to hire Talita Coleman, or at least make her the offer of human resources director. Grimes County. Is there any comments, questions? I have one comment. I'd like to thank all three of the people that we interviewed. Uh, we had three good candidates. Congratulations. Thank you. And I'll add to that that uh, I appreciate everybody. They interviewed well. Um, it, it just reaffirmed my confidence that we have capable and Thank you. Is there any other 
comments? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Agenda item number four is our motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. 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 There's a motion before the court on agenda item number four by Commissioner Walker, second by Commissioner Cox. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. We are adjourned.